Welcome to the breakdown where we break down all the messed up shit. Stop. Go down to the comments and tell me exactly what movie you want to see a breakdown on next week. Whatever comment has the most likes or thumbs up will be the movie I'll make a video on next week. Back to the video. This dangerous schoolgirl here has one gory message. You can run, but you can't hide. Directed by Noboru Iguchi, a high school girl gets a mechanical upgrade to fight Japan's most powerful Yakuza crime family to avenge the death of her sweet, innocent brother. She must defeat these dangerous, brutal men or else. You can find this on Tubi. Get ready for a fun special effect with a healthy amount of blood and gore. Want to see what happens, including all the messed up parts? Stay tuned for the breakdown. Cue the Gohan. Someone is forced to withstand sharp blades aimed directly at their mild-mannered head. Japanese delinquents don't look scary at all. Bullies in my high school look like wrestlers compared to you pipsqueaks. But I don't know, delinquents are kinda OP, like Yusuke or Mikey. Before they throw the final knife, a schoolgirl arrives to save the day, Amy Huga. Amy really came to question the bullies. Are they the ones who killed her innocent sweet brother? He was my little brother. Cause like it or not, you're about to join him in hell. She jumps up and slashes that loser's arm right off. I only have one arm too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The machine girl commences action. Okay, you gotta dash his aim. You gotta return that machine. <laughs> she corrects her aim and sends some delinquents to hell. Boom! She gets hit in the head, but gets back up and blows some more brains out. This is the machine girl and kicks a pipe right through his throat and finally shoots the entire bullet load down this boy's face. You thought you were an ace, but you were just another joker. She saves that kid getting bullied, but he runs away proclaiming she's a brutal murderer. You wouldn't be able to call her a murderer if she didn't murder for you. And how did this murderer become who she is? Back when she had two arms, she was a true basketball star that would make LeBron rant on Twitter. Look at that technique. Look at the groupies. Her little brother, Yu Huga, is a big fan of her. I don't know though, it's giving step bro vibes. Like someone's getting stuck in their house often. Yu later meets up with his friend, the CEO of sex. Turns out both are being bullied forced to hand over absurd amounts of money to a group of bullies. The leader of the bullies, Sho Kimura, says that all he wants is to see people suffer. Like Alfred said, some people want to see the world burn. If Yu doesn't get the money to the greedy bullies, then his sister will be kidnapped and forced to prostitution. Amy and Yu live alone. Their parents are both gone. They both off themselves because of murder allegations. Amy promises to always be there for her brother, to keep their family strong. Remember Sho Kimura, the leader of that group of bullies? He's the son of the patriarch of the most powerful Yakuza clan, the Hanzo Hattori clan, ninja Yakuza family. Everyone you face is your enemy or your slave. The sword is your tool of destruction. The Hanzo Hattori will return Japan's true might. Drink my godly blood to strengthen our bond. Yu Hyuga ends up there, but runs away to his friend, the CEO of sex. Looks like the CEO of sex has mechanic parents. Suguru and Milf, I mean, Miki, sorry. Amy sees her brother and the sex CEO running from the bullies. However, Amy ruins a gambling game and gets kidnapped and assaulted by some ugly, disgusting men, delaying her from helping her brother. Kimura threatens to touch Yu's sister, who ironically is being assaulted right now. But Yu says, you won't lay a hand on my sister and cracks Kimura, the same Kimura who's Kage level. Meanwhile, Amy is bopping those perverts with her awesome might. Return to your brother, he needs help. Damn, or maybe not. Even the CEO of sex is meleeing with those lame bullies, but still not strong enough to dispatch the weak bullies. 
Unfortunately, the CEO of Sex is murdered, pushed over the garage railing to his demise, and then you, Huga, is also thrown over. Both bullied boys dead. Immediately, his shy ghost talks to Amy from the afterlife, wondering why you haven't hit the like button yet. And she runs to discover the corpse of her only family. Two sweet guys violently pushed over. Amy's only family gone. Rest in peace you and the CEO of sex. Amy meets the parents of the CEO of sex, but they hate Amy. They call her the child of murderers who brings misfortune to all those around her. Amy finds a list of bullies written down and used fake death note. Now she knows who might have had a hand in his death. She visits one of the bullies home who pretends that he was good friends with you. Ryota needs to be getting to school. You're suggesting that our Ryota somehow bullied your brother? Who do you think you are? If your brother was bullied, maybe he did something to deserve it. I don't think it's right for you to blame us for your brother's problems. It might help you to look in the mirror if you want someone to blame, though. I want to beat her ass. Amy, knock her ass out first. Then, suddenly, the father attempts to murder Amy, even after treating her like Adolf Hitler, simply because she could be the child of people who could have been murderers. Amy gets her hand dipped into Pura on accident and almost gets fried like naked blood. Look at that crazy witch. And then her hand is dipped in the batter and she is fried. Way more than she should have been given the time. Luckily, she knocks out that woman and burns the father before escaping. She returns later that night, learning the name of the bully leader, Sho Kimura. Amy is no longer a Martin Luther King. She's ready to kill when it's justified. The crazy mother finds her son's head in the bowl before getting slashed right through the throat. She then walks in on the father bathing, saying, Why don't we wash your hair with your son's blood? Amy finds herself on the Yakuza compound to fight Sho Kimura. Your end is near, Kimura! The ninja Yakuza throw shuriken, but she deflects them like Sekiro. With just a kitchen knife, she throws off trained warriors. Right before killing Kimura, the Patriarch throws a sword in Amy's left arm. Captured by the Yakuza, they torture her mercilessly and slice her fingers off. Is her mission over? Will she get revenge for the death of her brother or will she suffer an even harsher end? She still hasn't lost hope and kills a guard with her thighs to take the key to her binds. The girl has escaped. Amy uses her last strength to crawl home. She's so close to death that her deceased brother watches her like the Grim Reaper, ready to bring her with him to the afterlife. Life. Amy ends up on the doorstep that belonged to the mechanic parents of the CEO of sex. Remember, their son died too, so they begrudgingly take care of her wounds, thinking everything has to do with their son's true killers. Meanwhile, the Yakuza have kidnapped Amy's best friend. She lies about even knowing Amy, but since she lied, they kill her too. The patriarch tells his men to have a little fun with her body. That was kind of twisted. Like That was a little more twisted than I was expecting. The Yakuza soon engage the three on their own turf. Shuguru throws a machine gun into Ami's stump at the risk of his own life. At least he died with a smile as the shurikens went through his body. And Amy uses Suguru's last creation to shoot the ninjas, becoming the machine girl. Sadly, Miki has lost her husband. Now she is truly alone, just like Amy. The Yakuza organized the parents of the ninja and bullies who were killed to take up arms against the woman who killed their kids. Finally, the two show up to kill the weak Kimura, but to get him, they gotta go through some disgruntled parents, fitted with their own weaponry and the images of their kids posted on their body. They 
are the Mourner's Avengers. They deflect and fight the parents in the woods, but their armor deflects all the bullets. How will they be able to defeat these parents? Miki revs her chainsaw attachment and treats these sorry parents like cattle. She has her foot cut off by the blade. That was a low IQ move, I'm not gonna front. Don't worry about me, she says. Promise me you'll kill them all. Miki passes away to be with her family. And now it's time for the machine girl versus the patriarch. But somehow the machine shoots spikes out, impaling the patriarch on a tree, killing him. Rod in hell you filthy yakuza scum. Now it's time to take show Kimura's head too. Kimura has tied up some innocent school kids to use them as his meat shields. Not to mention the matriarch is here too, the true leader. Amy uses her chainsaw attachment to fight, but the matriarch is using her special drill bra to deflect straight out of Tetsuo. Imagine getting beat by a bra. Looks like Amy loses her titties to that drill bra. Now this is a flash warning guys, so beware. One of the school kids wets himself from fear. Amy notices this and pushes the matriarch onto the urine on the floor, electrocuting the matriarch. Then Amy grabs the chainsaw and kills both Shokimura and the matriarch with one chainsaw blow. Like trunks kill Fraser, literally switching their heads. The machine girl wins. No matter which way you slice it, you'll both be rotting in hell! Amy tells the kids to call the police and never take shit from any bullies. They hope that they can be as strong as her one day. You Hugo from the afterlife claps for his sister, thanking her for defending his honor. Now complete, she plans to off herself since she has no more ties to this world. But before slicing, something gets her attention. The attention of the dangerous machine girl, Japan's greatest vigilante. Nobody likes bullies, but Amy isn't the only powerful Japanese girl and that's why you should watch this video on my chance daily life to see a girl with the ability to recover from any wounds. Also, a dark scientist with the ability to regrow body parts on anybody he chooses. Will they help Japan's failing birth rate? Click the video to find out. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.